Hello, my name is Andre Roos. I'm an old school optometrist and uh, I'm going to be handling the different types of eye disorders that are normally corrected with spectacles. Um, the most common of them all is far sighted. Now, I don't have a speech problem when I speak like that. When we say far sighted or hypermetropic or hyperopia, people are left a little bit confused. But the moment that I divide the word into the two words, words of which it's made up, far sighted, it really means exactly what I'm saying. If the person is looking over there, he can see clearly. And um, when young people have far sightedness, because of their ability to change focus from far to near, they see pretty well at near and at far, um, but it's still called far sighted. And those people are then generally, um, younger kids would, for instance, get glasses that they would only have to wear when they're doing schoolwork or working on a computer or another electronic interface. As we grow older, the farsightedness seems to catch up with us and eventually it leads to eye strain and discomfort and the eyes are inclined then to go red and they're tired at night. And very, very often you find somebody that, that has the following that he says, I have no idea why, but when it comes nighttime, I really battle because my eyes feel so tired. I'm like drowsy before I should be. That's common symptoms for people that are farsighted. For you to know whether you are farsighted, far the easiest way to do that is to just cover one eye like that with your hand, have a look at something that's really a long distance away from you, preferably more than six meters or 20 feet. And then have a look and see how clearly you can see that. We often find that people have to do this kind of thing, looking through the tiny little hole that they create in their hand, and then they would see better. If that is the case, then you probably have a problem. You should see an optometrist. Um, don't try and self-treat. It doesn't really work. But farsightedness is the first one, and um, the majority of people are farsighted. Statistics actually show that most people are actually born a little bit farsighted, and then as they grow older, the amount of farsightedness reduces until they go to school, stabilizes, and then it can go better, worse. There's a whole lot of other things which we will be talking about in, in future sessions. Remember, subscribe at the bottom and hit the little bell if you want to receive notification of, of notices.